All right, well today what we got going on here, uh, starting another new home project here. See it was wooded, the uh, homeowner had the trees taken out. And uh, so we got a lot of stumps to pull. And we got some, you know, pretty good sized ones over here. And uh, no monstrous ones, but uh, uh, this one right here is the biggest. And that's probably uh, maybe close to 30 inches in diameter, something like that. Uh, so, but that should be it. So we got a dumpster coming on, well, two dumpsters coming on Wednesday to load this brush and crap up, and, uh, we went ahead and we stuck the, uh, thumb on here today, and, uh, so I'm gonna go ahead and pull stumps here for a little bit, try to get a head start, and, uh, see what happens. Alright, well, as you can see, I got all the, the stumps pulled, they're over here in a pile, uh, but, uh, I still gotta, I was gonna put the, uh, uh, bigger tooth bucket on and kind of rake all this to kind of clean it up a little more uh, but before I took the small bucket off I was going to dig my little trench here for my silt fence and um, neighbor come up and started talking to me and uh, so I shut the hoe off just talked to him and uh, he went to leaves went, and man big bang and it sounded like a gunshot went off and I'm looking around and the, and the hoe fired up and it was running sitting there running fine you know and uh, so I'm looking around like, you know, what's going on? So I shut the hoe off, get out, walk around. I didn't, you know, I didn't see nobody. And of course, I looked to see if we was losing oil too, in case we threw a rod through the block or something, you know. And, uh, and there was no oil, but you know, I figured too, since the hoe was still running, uh, fine after the bang, you know, nothing, you know, obviously that wasn't the problem. But so anyhow, so I've been uh, looking around, waiting for tools to get here because I didn't have no tools besides one crescent wrench and. Uh, open up the battery hood to find uh, where the batteries are and never experienced it but I'm thinking this battery might have blew up or something you can see this side's pushed out pretty good there and you can see here this side it just picks up so something definitely happened with the battery uh, so I'm hoping that's it they're on their way out here with some tools I'm gonna pull some of these back plates off here uh, just to look up in and make sure you know, maybe something else happened, uh, you know, with maybe a, a power wire or something, and it made the battery blow up, I don't know. I mean, it's been really hot, so I guess that could be it too, but, um, so anyhow, so I thought I'd take a video and share this, and if anybody really has an idea of why battery may do this, I mean, it's, it's, I mean, the battery's not super old, I mean, it's getting a little age, it's, it's about three years old now, so I mean, it's not real old, but, uh, but anyhow, so if anybody knows, you know, give me a comment or two, so that way I have an idea. But anyhow, it has two batteries. We're just gonna go ahead and replace them both, and uh, uh, see what, you know, see what happens. So, so that's how the day ended here. Uh, but uh, so I didn't get as much done as I wanted to. All right, so today uh, we got the running the sewer in here uh dumpster came today for his tree stumps and stuff so we load that up and it's ready for pickup so i'm just moving stuff so they can come pick it up and uh get the sewer running in backfield and uh dig the basement tomorrow so i'll get a video later on <laughs> all right well i started getting another video here we're on this uh oops, there was my coffee uh, we're on this basement here again and uh See if I can get the setup in there, good. And um, see what my video will look like there. Oh, that'll be good. And uh, so I'm digging. Mike's using the track loader there, uh, pushing the dirt up to get rid of it. See, it's a, it's a tight lot here. Uh, Dad, he's uh. That's uh, off. We got to get one more load of material for the drive, so he's going to get that first thing this morning. So, so I'll give you a little video here as we go. It's uh, kind of a clay, sandy loam. Uh, higher content of clay than sand, obviously, but uh, makes for a pretty nice digging material. Digs pretty easy, not real hard. At least not yet. Uh, you can see there's some more, there's some pockets that are more clay uh, than others, but uh, overall it's pretty nice. So 
Now the basement's not real big, it's only like 1,600 square feet, but the uh, problem is this lot's so small for that size of basement, uh, that's why I got the skid steer here to try to help get rid of the dirt. Uh, you see we're going to have to push it up in between the trees and uh, stuff like that, so just going to make it for a pain in the butt overall. Should be good there. Let me see what it looks like down in the hole. The last one I took from in here didn't end up being real good. The footage. So. So we're just going here. We've been, we've been digging for about, uh, 45 minutes. See, we got the uh, most of the garage footers dug there and then started here. Usually I like to start on the front porch, but it uh, just with everything being so tight where we have to throw dirt, I decided we would do it a little backwards from how we normally would. I think it make things a little easier. We just dumped the last load of driveway material. Mike's just spread out to the front porch for the concrete trucks. See, we got dirt stacked out front here and clear back behind. Uh, we got all the footers dug in the basement. And uh, it's a good sized little basement. Pretty much about 1,700 square feet. So, oh, I gotta uncover my sewer line still. It's right down there in the center of the street and that ladder. But, uh, but that's it, we're done and off to the next one here. So, so on this site here, we've been, uh, how long have we been? Three, we moved in. We moved in, we uh, pulled stumps, loaded stumps in the dumpster, stripped the topsoil uh, from part of the lot here. Uh, we put the sewer in, which is 68. 68 foot long and uh, the hook up there we were 10 foot deep uh, put the driveway in and 200 foot of silt fence and then dug this basement and obviously garage footers and porch footers uh, and we're at three and a half days so not too bad we we could have probably been a little farther than that but because um, we could have started digging that basement yesterday because we got done with the sewer at about one o'clock and uh I didn't have prints because I wasn't actually supposed to be digging this basement until tomorrow. So we didn't have prints for it yet as far as uh, being able to dig it. But I did know the elevation of the basement, it, obviously it was state. But um, so I guess we could have been farther ahead and only been here probably three days instead of three and a half. But, uh, but in the end, it don't matter. So, so we'll move out here and be done with it.